Hey guys, welcome back to my discussion on Power BI. In my last video, I discussed about merge and append queries and we saw how we can just uh, merge different types of data with uh, different data architecture or same data structure with uh, same column ID or column identity. In this video, I am going to talk about something uh, very different. Uh, I'll be uh, showing you or I'll be discussing about how, what are the operations that we can perform on a date column date a date is a very important time intelligence concept in power bi in my future videos when i'll be talking about dax functionalities uh, i will show you how important is the time intelligent aspect of power bi and considering date a lot of calculations in power bi are uh, taken forward on the basis of date, year, month. So this time intelligence concept plays a very important role in creating your report and making them more and more dynamic. Among such operations, uh, today I'm going to show you certain operations that we can perform on a date column in Power Query Editor. As I'm discussing about Power Query Editor uh, since my last uh, couple of videos, Working on date column is also a very important part of uh, data transformation in Power BI Desktop. And Power Query plays a very important role in transforming a date column. So let's see what are the uh, operations that we can perform on a date column. So let's start. So this is, a, this is a typical sales data that I'm going to use for this example. So I have selected this data, I've connected this data with uh, my uh, data source and let's click on data transform, transform data options so that we can just uh, access the Power Query Editor window for Power BI Desktop. So click on transform data and it will be taken to the Power Query Editor window. So we have connected this data and we have just uploaded this data to the Power Query editor window. And this is a sales data and that contains a lot of information regarding the shipping and product product details, the customer name, regions, and etc. So our area of concern over here is the date column. So let let access the date column in this particular uh, data set and see what, what are the operations that we can perform over this particular data. So here is the date column. So what we can do, we can just uh, right click on this column and you can just remove the other column except this one. So there's an option called remove other columns. So what, this option will actually keep this particular date column and I will remove the other columns from this particular data set. So I'm using this particular date column for this example. So I'm removing the other columns. In real scenario, you might be creating a separate date table. So date table is a very important concept in data modeling part. So in my future videos, when I'll be talking about the data model and relation, relationship between the tables, I will be talking about the calculated table options where you can just create a separate date table. For, but for this video, for this scenario, as we are working in the Power Query Editor, so I'm taking a separate date column for this just to make you uh, understand the concept of what are the operations that we can perform. So what we can do, you can just right, select this column, do a right click on the column header and just remove the other columns from the data set. So you can just click on remove other columns and what will happen? The other columns from this data set will be removed and this particular column, date column is there. Now, as we are left with this particular date column, we can see the first uh, thing that the particular data type of this column is, is selected to as a text data type. So what we can do, uh, we can just uh, select an option. We can just create another date table from this particular column. So in order to do that, we need to go to this transform menu and we'll find an option over here called date. Now, the interesting part is that when, when we click on this particular option, only this particular option parse option is enabled and the other options, the date, other date element of this particular menu is disabled. So what we can do, we can just select this column and we can just click on this parse option and let's see what happens. Wow, so we have got a new date column. So that existing column, which was, our, which was actually there, 
the original column with a different data type has been converted to a pure date column. Now let's see this option again and see, wow, these options has been enabled. So these are the options, time element options that are that we can use on this particular column. So the, we can see this parse option has actually converted a wrong date column into a pure date column with a particular data type as date. Now let's see what are the options we can perform over here. So we can select this column and you can just go over here and we can just see what are the things we can just do over here. In the year option, we have called year, start of year and end of year. In the month option, we have start of the month. So let's select the start of the month and see what happens. Okay. So as we are working in the transformation option, we are not able to see the changes that are actually happening. So what we can do, we can just go to the add column options. So the difference between add column and, and transform is the transform will be the changes will take place in the column itself. But in the add column, the changes, whatever changes will take place in this particular column will be seen as a new column. So a new column will be added as a result of those changes, which is not, which doesn't happen in terms of transform. So let's click on this transform and go to this date option and select as parse. Now we see in the add column, a new column has been created. So what we can do, we can just remove this column as of now and you can change this column as date. Now let's see what are the functions we can just perform operations we can perform over this column. Now you can go to this date option and you can just select the month and you can just select the start of the month option. So the start of the month has been populated over here. You can also select the end month option from this again. So you can see how we can just uh, doing some of the operations without writing a single piece of code over here in Power Query Editor. So that's why I told you in the beginning of my, in, in the introduction video of Power Query that 90% of your work will be taken care by the options which are there in the ribbon. We can also perform these functions with the help of formulas. We can write DAX functionalities for this fun, for, for doing all this particular operations. In my videos where I will talking about DAX functionalities, I will do all these things with the help of formula. But in Power Query, we can do this easily without writing a single piece of code. We cannot write DAX formulas over here. There is a separate component of Power, Power BI Desktop for writing DAX, uh, DAX functions and formulas. Now let's see what are the other functions we can perform. We can also find out the quarters of the year for this particular column. So we can see this uh, 1, 7, 2003 actually comes under the third quarter of the year. We can also find out the days, weeks. We can also find the week of the year for this particular column. So this is the 27th week, this particular date. We can also find out the days of the week or the days of the year. So this is this particular first 7, 2013 is that 182nd day of the year. So you can see how powerful is this particular date feature of Power Query Editor. We can also perform some other functions. Let's see what, what are the functions we can perform. We can just find out the year. So you can just separate and we have just performed an extract operation on this with a piece of, uh, with a single click. So this particular, from this particular column, we have extracted the 2013 year with just a single click. So you can imagine how powerful is uh, this particular option of date and the number of uh, formal, the number of functions that we can perform, the number of operations that we can perform in this particular column. In my next video, I will, all, I will talk about some more time intelligence element of uh, Power BI Desktop. 
and we'll see how we can just use those time intelligence element or the concept of time intelligence in power bi in order to make your report more and more dynamic and interactive guys i just wanted to say you that time intelligence aspect of power bi is very very powerful and is a very important concept in terms of skills and in terms of interview also so if you can get hold of this time intelligence uh, concept of power bi desktop in terms of power query editor or dax or data modeling uh, you can you can do amazing stuffs with uh, with your reports and the data sets for any any multiple data source so i will be talk, talking about a lot of time intelligence concept in my future videos uh, so please listen those videos please see those video very carefully so this was all for now thanks for watching this video guys